Roger. I'll let you go. T minus 30. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying NASA on an odyssey back to Mars. Stage system's looking good. Uh, load relief kick rate is in. Vehicle is responding. Vehicle's working its way through the uh, liftoff transient. System's looking good. Approaching Mach 1. The usual attitude disturbances through the thick atmosphere and the Mach buffeting. We are now supersonic. Controls and reactions settling down a little bit as we uh, are in the supersonic range. We're now approaching max Q. Stage systems still look good. There it is. We passed max Q. Vehicle response is normal. Things are really settling down on the verniers. Solid motors are beginning to tail off. T plus 60 seconds. Ignited the air start motors and jettisoned the ground starts. All all six solid motors have been jettisoned. Looks like a clean separation. The usual reaction on the vehicle on the first stage when we separate the motors, it's being damped out. As expected, we are now at an altitude of 12 nautical miles, downrange distance 32 nautical miles, and a velocity of 3,200 miles an hour. Real-time telemetry details are being called out by Boeing's Mark Levine from the telemetry lab confirming all six boosters having separated. Excellent pictures of the launch vehicle as it departs the Earth. Sequencer. You We're at uh, T plus 110 seconds. First stage systems continue to look well. All solid motors are starting to uh, taper off the air start motors as expected. Thank you. Welcome. Getting to burn out there. Okay, we have had burnout of the air start solid motors. Separation. Solid motor jettison. <laughs> T plus 148 seconds into the mission. First stage systems continue to look good. We have uh, reset the LOX, LOX tank pressure. Uh, the pressure is slowly increasing as designed. Vehicle continues to climb out uh, through the center of the range track, and we are now at an altitude of 40 nautical miles, with a downrange distance 136 nautical miles, and a velocity of 7,200 miles per hour. Stage one guidance is in. up on T plus 200 seconds. First stage continues to perform normally. Controls have really settled out now. Very nice and smooth up there at the upper stratosphere as we climb out of the gravity well. Passing T plus 225 seconds. Main engine is now producing a thrust of a little over 230,000 pounds as we continue to climb up through the thin atmosphere. Next mark event will be a MECO coming up in approximately 20 seconds. Stage electrical systems look good. First stage performance still looks good. We have our fuel float switch, followed by locks float switch, and we have enabled Miko.
And there it is. Main engine has cut off. Vernier's still looking good under tank pressure. Two good Verniers. QAM on channel and one. There's Vico. QAM on one. Page 103. One, two, sep. We have separated the stages. Go ahead. You get the there's line second now. stage ignition. Second stage is up and running. Pressure looking good. Okay, copy that. I want to make sure. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, we have unlatched and jettisoned the ferry. Kayak signatures look good on the Excels. Looks like we had a nice clean separation on that fairing. And the second stage engine continues to look good. We've had a little bit of uh, oscillation right at startup, but that is damped out very well on the helium reg press. Nice and smooth now. Seconds. This is Delta Launch Control at five minutes and 24 seconds into the flight. The we see the spacecraft on this continues to perform well. We are now at an altitude of 84 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 581 nautical miles. And a velocity exceeding 14,000 miles an hour. 